Well, joining us from Washington is Seth Berenswag. He is a business and technology attorney. And Seth, it sounds like a very familiar story, interference on social media from foreign actors. There has been a lot of concern whether the government, whether the industry, the uh, social media industry is paying enough attention to this kind of incident. Do you get a sense both those parties are doing all they should? Well, no. Uh, the private sector and the public sector here in America is not doing everything that they should, but they're finally at least waking up to the reality that they need to start to do something right away. Facebook has been shoved into a wake-up call that they just had about 290,000 individuals' uh, personal information and data breached, probably by Russia, soon to be determined, but all of the hallmarks seem to indicate that it's probably um, the Internet agency that was guilty of the 2016 intrusion, and that violates a whole host of problems based on new laws and regulations, both in the EU as well as with uh, new state laws here in the, U the United States. So really, I think that Facebook understands that it has a real problem. Uh, as you've noted, um, its stock has really plummeted because of real dissatisfaction and concern and a breach of trust. But finally, they're working with the Congress, and it seems that the Senate Intelligence Committee is starting to focus on important hearings that will address this critical issue. And Seth, there are so many other huge tech companies out there. So do you think we're placing too much emphasis on Facebook? Well... Yes and no. Um, look, Facebook deserves a lot of emphasis and attention right now because up until recently, it's done a horrible job. I mean, you know, they got paid in rubles in 2016, and in the most recent intrusion that they've learned about in the last couple of weeks, they, in, in part, continue to get paid in foreign currency, although not in rubles. So I think they deserve um, part of the attention. But as we'll see in the hearing, that's going to be picking up again on September 5th with the Senate Intelligence Committee here in Washington, they're not going to just be focusing on Facebook. There are going to be a lot of players from Silicon Valley, a lot of companies in the tech space, and they're going to have to recognize at least two things. The first is that this is going to be a huge issue here in the United States headed into the midterm elections, and the Senate Intelligence Committee is taking this seriously. The second thing they're going to have to realize is that they have massive potential exposure and liability, not only in terms of reputation, harm, but under the new regulations in the EU, which is also being mimicked by some laws here in the United States, they can lose up to 4% of their global annual revenue by losing the exact kind of data that Facebook just had breached. So this is a, an awakening, and it's happening. Finally, there is a little bit of a change of behavior on this issue where the risks are very clearly quite high. Seth, you say a little bit of a change of behavior, but of course, data, utilizing that data, sharing that data, that is really the cash cow of these big social media companies. And we saw the dangers with Cambridge Analytica, uh, especially sharing this uh, with right. data overseas with foreign companies. Is that concern, that, that uh, I guess, sort of a weak, weak underbelly of the industry really being addressed? You're right, and that is a huge problem, and I think that it has not been addressed for years, but it's finally being addressed now. So, for example, Facebook, which is one of the biggest violators of this, in response to the Cambridge Analytica scandal, has cut off a very significant portion of its third-party app development programs, and there have been other players that have also been very wary of that kind of a, a need and a development to be able to do that. So it's been, it's been way too long since this has happened, but it's finally happening. It's absolutely incredible. We're talking about this issue here in the United States on a day where, as you just said a few moments ago, the President of the United States just tweeted calling for the Attorney General to shut down uh, the Russian campaign interference investigation, even though the Senate Intelligence Intelligence Committee is finally looking into that issue. So um, there are clearly mixed signals coming out of Washington, but at least there are some fundamental steps that are finally headed in the right direction. And Seth, what kind of long-term impacts do you see this having on Facebook or, you know, even other large media companies like Facebook? 
Well, I think Facebook is going to be in a better position to be able to deal with the huge new regulations with respect to data security and data privacy that have now sprung up just literally within the, in the past few weeks in the EU and in at least five states in the United States. Uh, led by California and New York. They have the resources and the ability to be able to put new steps and procedures and policies in place to deal with this huge intrusion. But there are a lot of companies that don't have those kinds of resources. Um, at the end of the day, I think Facebook realizes that it's losing uh, confidence, it's losing trust, it's, it's, it's bl being obliterated with its market value. And if the Facebooks of this world are going to survive and they're going to be able to avoid all of these huge problems to data privacy, individual privacy, not to mention the sanctity of our pre presidential elections, they're going to have to fundamentally change the way that they do business or otherwise they're going to face perilous consequences. Well, certainly if Mark Zuckerberg has not learned his lesson by now, it's, it's hard to imagine what could make him finally realize that he does have to make some serious fundamental changes there at Facebook.